UCLA sought out Ciclavia. We wanted to work with Ciclavia because we think this is an important tool to change the pattern of inactivity. And Ciclavia has been an important tool to change health behaviors in Los Angeles. Physical inactivity is one of the most significant public health problems that we face. I certainly would not be exercising today if, if Ciclavia wasn't going on. I'm kind of lazy like that. Wagging our fingers and telling people to be active doesn't work. What works is changing the physical environment to welcome and encourage people to do it. And I think Ciclavia does that. So Ciclavia is a great example of a community level intervention. We use Ciclavia almost like as a launch pad to try to get people riding a bike. They come and experience it, see how much fun it is, and later on they start riding it on the weekends, sometimes during the week. They stop going to the gym and start riding their bike all the time. What most people don't recognize is that they don't have to be marathon runners or elite athletes to uh, accrue the benefits. And things like walking at a fast pace, biking at just a comfortable pace, dancing. Policy change is going to come from, will come from this and to be together. UCLA is working with researchers that ran and with the folks at Ciclavia to do actual measurements of how many people show up and do this. To measure, does air quality get better as fewer and fewer people are in the car? And then looking at social attitudes and even retail attitudes in the neighborhoods where this occurs. As far as I've seen so far, it's all to the good. I started in October of last year, it was my first Ciclavia, it was my 45th birthday, and I rode with my two friends here, and it was a blast, and I loved it, and it was important for me because, you know, I've been dealing with uh, depression and anxiety my whole life, and I started riding and I came out that day, and I'm like, you know what, this feels pretty good. The health behaviors also, in a sense, are contagious. If we see our neighbors, or see our friends out exercising, smiling, and being active, we're much more likely to do it. The endorphins that you get just from writing and from being around great people, great positive people, is it's contagious and it feels good and it sticks with you. If I have to go to the market, just get on my bike and go. I now bike to work or walk to work and Ciclavia was definitely a big reason for that because I felt like it gave me that confidence. The first one that I did was the Venice and that was 30 miles. I didn't think I could do it and I did it not thinking about it. and. I was like, well, I could do this. I kind of feel bad because I live within walking distance of my school and I don't. But this is encouraging me to, to start doing that. This just lets me know if I can go from Arlington to Central, I can go a few blocks to work. I used to weigh 400 pounds and that's when I got on the, got on the bike and I started the Eastside Bike Club. Started as a support mechanism to help me lose the weight. It blossomed to over 400 friends and now it's not about me, it's about everybody here. So Sigma Via is really contributing to all of these things and for that reason the Public Health Department is, is fully behind it. You know what's really important is that we build a movement and I think we are as we reflect on, on the sheer numbers of people that are participating in Ciclavia. But to sustain it, we really have to have the funding support, the resources to continue it. And it's very heartening, actually, that large agencies here in Los Angeles are taking notice and supporting the effort. We, we applaud uh, Metro for their recent uh, investments in expanding Ciclavia. And Ciclavia is a model for culture change. And I think it needs to continue, but it needs to be I think scaled up. It needs to become a norm for the entire United States. And we've got to get people out and help them to be physically active. I think this is really an important shift in our society and something we should be supporting.